smoke. Time is money. I've got to cut this down to be able to get cooked in eight hours. One, I need to take all of the skin off. I want to save as much of this meat as possible. It gets real thin down in here. So. The other. Leon, I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper rub this flat. Okay. I'm going to do traditional flat salt and pepper flared, a little bit of turbinado sugar, and some garlic. Key element to cook in the flat is cook it with the skin up. It really enables all of the fat to render through the meat. She's already got her belly on. Sometimes speed is not the best that's, thing in the world, you know? That's right, that's right. It's going to be a sweet belly. This has got apple juice, some salt, some meat tenderizer, and some brown sugar. Well, that's a smart move. Typically, to turn that pork belly into bacon, you would cure it and then smoke it. They don't really have time to do a typical cure, so you would inject to rush the brining, marinating process. Let's win this. I hear you talking. I know, Brooke. <laughs> I, I know. can't come in. It really doesn't matter, because win, lose, or draw, you're still my champ. I know. So, you're so you know, sweet. you are the winner. You know, today, Leslie, her assistant is her father, Gary Rourke. Mm -hmm. Well, Gary Rourke's cooked a lot of hogs in his day. Let me go ahead and tell you, I've been competing against him since I started competition barbecue in 1996. And he knows pork belly. Now, he may not know a fancy way to cook it, but he knows how to cook it, and it'd be good. Every bite, no matter where you cut from, is going to have that, that flavor in it. I think she got her a ringer partner. <laughs> that guy's a barbecue <laughs> badass. <laughs> I believe I have the advantage going into the pork belly long cook because I'm going to do it two ways and I'm going to give these judges some options. This is our competition rub. I rub it really good on both sides. The Shed's Rack Attack Rub has a sweet tone, a little bit of heat. Let's roll and twine. One of my favorite things to eat in this entire world is a traditional pork belly porchetta. Typically, they're stuffed with a tenderloin, fresh herbs. If I do that, I'm not going to have enough time to get it cooked through. So I'm going to put my flavors on there and roll it up, tie it. Hold that tight for me. Oh, she's rolling it up. She's very fancy. Leslie and her father are going to stick with the old school grass roots. But today is about being creative. Come on, let's get her in. We are going to be very ambitious today. The challenge for Leslie and Brooke today is to render enough of that fat out where you have what we know in the in the biz as that edible fat. Not yes. that old gelatinous stick white stuff. You want it where it's rendered down? Slide it right there. That's a big challenge once you roll it up. When it's flat, it's a lot easier to deal with. <laughs> 